weekend number two. So it's Saturday, we've got a full day to work here. The weather's gonna cooperate today. It's gonna be in the upper 50s, maybe 60, and sunny. So, wonderful day to get some things done around the house here. Um, first order of business today is going to be the sewer line, figuring out where the septic is and um, getting a trench dug basically across the backyard here all the way over to where the RV is parked and we're gonna put a, a clean out drain, um, basically a dump station over there next to the RV so that we don't have to uh, pull out of here and dump um, once we get the bathroom shut off inside. So that's the first order of business. Now they had told us that there is a clean out right over here. Supposedly the clean out was underneath a triangular shaped rock in this bed, but I've basically removed all the rocks. There's multiple ones that are kind of triangular-ish and I can't find a clean out. Um, and I'm not super worried about it because the trench really needs to be uh, off of the pipe leading to the septic tank, which we believe is somewhere over here. I've dug down into the dirt about uh, eight inches over there and hit something hard. So that's where I'm gonna focus my digging and then dig back this way. So that's the order of business. We're gonna get the tractor out and start learning how to use that here in just a moment. All right, just a little bit of change in plans here. Right before I got the tractor out, Chris asked me to disconnect the, uh, the bathroom, the main bathroom sink, so she can sell the uh, the countertop vanity in there. So we're gonna get that done before we get the tractor out. Uh, I think she's just gonna sell the vanity because there's some water damage on this cabinet. So see if anybody wants to grab this vanity so we don't have to take it to the dump. Uh, she'll probably just list it for 10 or 20 bucks, maybe even five, or pick up for free. Anything to get it out of our way. Making progress on the flooring, as you can see. We'll probably finish that up uh, today or tomorrow. Uh, we've got quite a bit of flooring saved for the office and uh, getting it down to uh, the bare bones here. A lot of the subfloor in the back is going to have to come up. Uh, maybe just a few pieces out here. This looks mostly fairly good, uh, but there's some water damage under where the sink was here. So with our very first dig of the backhoe, we were able to locate, without breaking, the sewer line where it comes out of the house and goes right into the septic. So this is where we're going to tie on our tee. We just got to dig it out a little bit more. <laughs>
about that before I stepped in. What's that? I know it's a deep part. I'm just not sure that the seals are. You're not sure what? Okay. We need like five miles. I know. They're not only water boots, some... they're creek boots. They're creek boots. It's cold. Oh, you want to touch it? I want in. Is it cold? Yeah. Yeah. Wee. 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 <laughs> Grandma, that feels so. That feels so weird when you do this. Yeah. Why Rolling. are they eating the wood? All right, welcome uh, week three. Let's wrap up week two first. Uh, week two, we made pretty good progress. So got a lot of limbs that we had taken down uh, during week one, we got those all burnt up. Um, we got the rest of the cabinets out of here, got some flooring out of here, sold a few more things. The big task for week two was really digging that sewer line. Uh, we made progress there, but the Concrete slabs and the tree stumps are winning. So the tree stumps, I think just a little bit more hard work will get those, but the uh, concrete slabs, we're gonna have to get a jackhammer and break those up into smaller pieces because the tractor will move them a little bit, um, but won't fully drag them without getting um, stuck. It's a little soft right now, so that might be uh, against us a little bit as well. So we've, we've moved all that we can right now, um, and we've got the trench mostly dug. So today, in week three, we're actually gonna move on to some other things, finishing that up, finishing that sewer line up. So for the sewer line, we're gonna go ahead and get the pipe. We're gonna lay it out there. We're gonna need about 80 feet of pipe to go to the dump station where we wanna be a couple of, uh, a couple of angles um, to get it in the right direction. We'll get those all laid out, but not, uh, not glued together or fitted together. We'll just get them all laid out. Then when we move that last slab of concrete, we'll be able to finish that trench and go ahead and tie the line in. We'll either get rid of jackhammer sometime this week or on the weekend to finish that off. So by the end of this week, week three, our sewer line dump station will be in. We're also going to fix some of the electric in the garage. So yesterday I did isolate the problem um, to the lighting circuit at the top. Uh, we knew the lights were out. There was two circuits going into there. One circuit is for the office part. That one is fine. I put it, separated that circuit, put it on its own breaker. So the office and the back storage area uh, on the shop are working just fine with electric now. Got a new breaker, put that on that other line that's for the lights in the ceiling of the shop and it trips. So I took some of the ceiling down yesterday so this week we're going to get up inside that attic there and try to figure out what's going on. The first run goes over to the ceiling fan. So there might be a problem with the ceiling fan. So we'll start there. Um, other things this week, uh, should get the electro inspections so we can know if we can take the walls down without causing us some uh, more permit issues, things like that. So hopefully that inspection will occur tomorrow. But that's the other big event. Tomorrow is election day. So the inspection may not happen until Thursday. They only do them on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I wouldn't be surprised if they don't come out on election day. Anyway, stay tuned. Well, one more thing on week two, we wrapped up uh, the deck. So as you know, Chris was uh, struggling with the 
pressure washer. Um, she actually took the carburetor apart, cleaned it all up, and got it back into running condition and finished up the deck. So she's got it all washed, 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 washed. She's got it all washed. She just needs to uh, see if she can stain it. And uh, we'll be in business with the decking part. And then sometime later, we're gonna replace these uh, these beams. So, and there's our doggies. That's the other thing we did this week. We put in an invisible fence so that they can just run about. We're still kind of training. We don't trust Presley especially, but she's doing pretty good. Fruit snacks do the trick. She goes back, gets a fruit snack. Look, I'm here. I'm here, mommy. Mommy's breaking them in half now, so that we have more treats to go around and don't make her super fat. All right, I'm gonna finish up the uh, trenching now and then get to the electric in the shop here. What are you gonna be working on this week? I'm gonna take that shower out, hopefully, and uh, get the shop clean. Yeah, we've not been organized as much <laughs> as we like to be. So today, once we get, uh, well, we actually got some temporary lights you can put on in here. Um, but hopefully I'll have some lights fixed here for her. But, but uh, 